दोस्तों पिछले साल मोहल्ले में गणेश चतुर्थी पर पंडाल बनाना था जगह भी थी बच्चे भी थे मेहनत करने के लिए और दो अंकल भी थे सबको गाइड करने के लिए पर पैसा नहीं था इसलिए स्टार्ट करने से पहले हमने चंदा कलेक्ट किया कुछ ऐसा ही होता है इन्वेस्टमेंट और अगर ये पैसा दूसरे देश से आए तो उसे फॉरेन इन्वेस्टमेंट बोलते हैं इकॉन वन जीरो वन में हम सीखते हैं कि कुछ भी प्रोड्यूस करने के लिए चार फैक्टर्स कंपलसरी होते हैं लैंड लेबर कैपिटल एंड ऑन्टरप्रिनोरशिप दीज आर कॉल्ड दी फोर फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एक लेस डेवलप्ड या डेवलपिंग कंट्री का एग्जाम्पल लेते हैं दिस कंट्री हैज एम्पल लैंड इट हैज चीप लेबर एंड इट हैज स्ट्रीट स्मार्ट ऑन्टरप्रिनोर एज वेल But this country lacks capital. Without capital, production is impossible. Entrepreneurs cannot buy raw materials, labor cannot be paid, and land cannot be properly utilized. Without production, there are no goods and services to consume or sell. Without consumption or sales, there is no economic growth. This is why capital is very important for developing countries. This is where globalization can lend a helping hand. Countries do not exist in a vacuum. They are part of a global economic ecosystem. Foreign investors can supply the capital that can get the economic machine working. When a country starts producing goods and services, its GDP rises. The foreign investors are compensated for their capital with handsome interest payments. There are three main types of foreign investments: PFI, FDI, and FII let's understand them one at a time first PFI PFI stands for private finance initiative maan lijiye indian government ko district develop karni hai isliye government ko is district mein naye tunnels schools hospitals aur factories construct karne hai but because of low income levels tax collection alone is insufficient to fund these projects This is where the private sector can provide the initial funds necessary to get the projects going. When the private sector provides the upfront capital necessary to execute public projects, the investment is called private finance initiative. The private firms can bring down construction costs. Private companies can also finish the projects under budget and before time. This ultimately benefits the taxpayers. private finance can come from inside or outside the country but what is the financial incentive for private companies to execute public projects well firstly public projects are vast in scope and secondly the government returns the investment amount in installments as well as pays an interest on top of that private capital therefore can provide the initial push and put a community on a track of rapid economic growth second FDI FDI stands for foreign direct investments aap agar indian ne dekhe to aapne FDI ka naam to zarur suna hoga when a foreign company invests in and takes partial ownership of domestic enterprise it's called a foreign direct investment do tarah ke foreign direct investments hote hain when a multinational company opens up branches in a different country it's called greenfield investment for example When American fast food companies like Domino's and Dunkin' Donuts open up branches in India, it's an example of greenfield investment. They invest in Indian property, Indian labor, and Indian entrepreneurs. On the other hand, if Domino's acquired a domestic fast food brand, it would be called brownfield investment. There are pros and cons to both approaches. Brownfield investments में न्यू बिल्डिंग और फैसिलिटीज क्रिएट करने की जरूरत नहीं होती है बट देन ग्रीन फील्ड इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रोवाइड ग्रेटर फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी ओवर द इयर्स द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट हैज ग्रेजुअली रिलैक्सड एफ डी आई नॉर्म्स इन सेक्टर्स लाइक एविएशन रिटेल एंड डिफेंस थर्ड एफ आई आई एफ आई आई स्टैंड फॉर फॉरन इंस्टीट्यूशनल इन्वेस्टमेंट फॉरन फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन लाइक हेज फंड पेंशन फंड insurance funds and mutual funds can invest in developing countries under FII provisions developing countries have greater growth potential therefore foreign investors can profit from greater returns to the capital by investing in developing countries and emerging markets individuals from developed countries can put their money in mutual funds which will then redirect their capital to more lucrative foreign investments 
FIIs do not take ownership of foreign businesses. Rather, FIIs buy equities and therefore infuse capital in foreign markets by becoming stockholders. Foreign investments per kafi regulations hote hai. This is because the governments believe that foreign ownership of domestic firms can lead to two problems. First, it can damage India's sovereignty. India ek swatantra desh hai aur ek swatantra desh aarthik roop se bhi azad hona chahiye. Foreign investments is aarthik azadi ko kam kar sakte hain. For this reason, RBI has a limit of 24% when it comes to FII investing in Indian companies. The central bank pays close attention to foreign investments in Indian firms and alerts Indian firms when the maximum investment limit is about to be reached. The second potential problem with foreign investments is that the foreign investors might prioritize their own interest over that of the country where they invest. Isliye sensitive sectors mein foreign investments per limit hoti hai. India mein retail sector mein 100% FDI allowed hai. But defense sector may upper ceiling 74% hai. This is because the defense sector is at the heart of India's national security. And Indian stakeholders must be present in such sectors. Even in the retail sector, Indian firms with foreign investments over 51% need to source 30% of goods from Indian manufacturers. When it comes to private finance initiatives, some skeptics think chronic capitalism can lead to corrupt deals between the government and the private firms. This is sometimes true. But the fact remains that foreign investment is important due to something called a savings investment gap. Developing desho mein average income low hota hai. Monthly earnings ka ek bada hissa roti, kapda aur makan mein chala jata hai. Household consumption is a big percentage of total family income and this leads to low savings. Because of low savings, people do not have the willingness or even the funds to invest in new businesses. This is called the savings investment gap. But new businesses ke bina koi bhi desh grow nahi kar sakta. This is where foreign investments can provide the initial impetus for growth. Here is the definition of the three terms discussed today. Take a screenshot for future reference. Do you think India needs more foreign investment or less? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to share this video with your friends. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.